a wind-powered shark light from eBay. This is a light that you stick on the top of your vehicle and as you drive along, it is wind-powered and it makes the LEDs light up inside. So the listing for this says, wind-powered shark LED light, high-quality shark LED light, LED light flashing when your car moving over 25 miles per hour, no battery needed, generate electricity by front fan spin. Size 14 by 6.5 centimeter, material PVC, easy install on your car with the strong tape. It goes on with double-sided tape. Air compatibility. Make your car more attraction, especially at night, more safe with this LED light to warn other drivers. The Shark LED light is made of front fan and inside wire coil. Useful to know. So I can show you this, I think. If I don't show you it, people will complain, but I'll show you operating. But to do that, I'm going to have to take the exposure off, I'm going to have to turn this light off, and then there's going to be lots of noise as I blow forcefully past this, and hopefully the, uh, hopefully the camera will actually flatter it because it's not very bright. I think that probably kind of showed right. One moment, please, and bring the light back. Watch your eyes. The light is back. Hopefully that looked okay, that you actually saw the lights. Two in the top, one on each side. Right, um, so let's take it to bits. I'll show you the pads first that you stick this on with. I'm not sure how easily it's going to come back off your car once you've stuck it on. But you've got a pad at the front here and a pad at the back. And it is kind of, the body of it is curved, presumably to accommodate the appropriate bodywork. I have, after looking for a while to see are there any screws, I had discovered that the it bayonet caps off and has screws. Let us open it. Uh, this was suggested by Eric. And when he suggested it, I did recall that I bought one a while back and was unenamored. It was not impressive. This one is equally not impressive. The reviews are... A mixture of positive and other ones saying it's extremely noisy, I had to take it off, and that is true. It makes loud, screamy, rattly noises as you drive along the road. This may suit some vehicles. Is it going to have the same construction? I think it has the same construction as the one I got ages ago. Oh, that is very basic. Let's zoom down in this. So here's the little coil for the generator, and it's got two wires coming off it going to these two LEDs in parallel, and then it's got a couple of LEDs over at the back in parallel as well. Now, I wonder if they're, I would guess, let's try powering these up with uh, the diode setting. Oh, this might not work. Actually, I can always just snap one of the wires off the little uh, generator thing. Well, let's see what happens if I stick it across. Is it gonna make the LEDs glue? I'm expecting them to be, I don't think there'll be any polarity as such, no, that's just there. Uh, that's going to, I'm going to have to snap on those little wires off. It's not going to be difficult. The hardest bit is getting hold of the wire. It's very thin, it's like human hair. Right, tell you what, let's see if it uh, makes the LEDs glow now. I can see a red LED glowing at the back. And I can see the green LED glowing. I've not seen the blue LEDs go yet. All right, okay. I shall investigate that afterwards. Let's investigate this little generator thing. I shall try popping the blade off it by levering it out gently from the back. Oh, it didn't take much. There's your little turbine. There's the little generator. I shall just snap it off completely. So how is this assembled? Am I going to be able to get this apart? Am I going to have to unwind it to get it apart? I think I may have to do that. I'm not sure the construction of this, but I shall find out. Uh, I'm not really planning on sticking it on my vehicle. So I will probably just open this. But if I, it's what I think it is, it will have a little neodymium magnet inside, if that. Mm-hmm. And that will spin in the side of these two coils. 
Right, yo, I shall, I shall take that apart and we'll take a look at it afterwards. Um, right, uh, in fact, I'll do that right now and I'll analyse the wiring of these LEDs to see which ones are in which polarity. One moment, please. It has been explored and here is what is inside. Well, basically, it's like quite a lot of windings. Uh, the little generator itself, which is super simple, the plastic housing has a back that comes off it, which is actually held in place by the wire, the windings. And inside is a cylindrical magnet with a north face and a south face that spins in between the two windings. So I'm guessing the windings must be sort of opposite directions. So they must wind at one direction, skip off and go the other. It's worth mentioning that uh, I presume that the windings were supposed to be wrapped around these little pins in the side. Uh, just for strain relief, but they weren't. They were just taken straight off over. This must be made in-house, I'm guessing. Um, the LEDs are wired as shown. We have the spinning magnet. Uh, we have the two coils, and it just creates an AC output. Um, it will pretty much almost be a sort of sinusoidal output, except that that will be clamped by the LEDs. Uh, the three gallium nitride LEDs, two blues and the green, are in one polarity and the sort of less efficient uh, and also lower voltage red LED is in the opposite direction. So basically speaking, when I was blowing there, it was alternating red and blue-blue-green. So the red was only lit at one time and then the others were lit at the other. But because it's spinning at high speed, you wouldn't really see that. So it's uh, very, very basic. It's, a, it's more of a novelty than anything else. It's a gimmick. But I suppose that if you like this sort of stuff on your vehicle, then that's okay. I mean, it's quite nicely made. It's quite stylish. Um, but perhaps they could have done with something like, am I being too demanding, expecting a bearing in here? It's literally just running the plastic. Um, and that means that with weather and schmoo ingress, it's probably not going to last that long. But then again, it is, as I say, a novelty. It wasn't that expensive. And uh, I suppose it only has to last as long as till the novelty, novelty wears off or it just blows completely off the top of the vehicle. But there we go. That is the wind-powered Shark Light for boy racers.